my inspiration is basically from art movements and the art movement that I had taken uh, after looking at my fabrics was the arts and crafts movement and uh, it, the, my Pred garment is based on the William Morris wallpaper. I thought, you know, the floral works well with that. So, And the arts and crafts is more about very linear, very utilitarian lines. So that's the concept that I've played around with. So, you know, balancing the floral with a very uh, linear, very structured kind of a design. And it's a kaftan that, you know, that can be folded back. So it can be worn in the ways in, the, in that sense. And uh, my diffusion garment is an extension on the same uh, theme. It's on arts and crafts. I played around with the lines. With uh, pleating, the corduroy also already has a texture, but uh, and it's, you know, it also holds pleats well because it's a very heavy fabric. So I thought, you know, it'll give a very um, 3D effect of pleats. And yeah, again, I've balanced it with a very simple neckline so that, you know, the lines are, you know, there's a play of lines on it. Thank you so much. First garment is a basic line dress. It's making around uh, like uh, English style with Peter Pan collar. Basically for uh, teenage school girls. And my couture is inspired from uh, Lotus Temple, uh, where I, I have made this uh, it's transferable uh, sleeves. You can adjust according to your. Brilliant! I saw it. Inside. So you still choose to stick to your double. <laughs> nice, very nice yeah. thought. Yeah, I think for you is a stage design where you do accessories. You, you should uh, foray into that more than uh, costume. Theater, I think theater. No, but I think it's a very cool, that Lotus uh, is a very cool thought. Thank you. Okay. We had a restricted color palette because we were given the fabric. So I decided to color block because uh, both the colors, uh, I had this accent fabric which was very dull and a black fabric which was given to all of us. So I tried using the black to create a visual illusion. As you can see, the black cuts the center panel in an in a hourglass shape. So this was the concept for, the, uh, for this garment. Since I like playing with the back a lot, so I've given a crochet back. And um, for this particular garment, I wanted to give her a feminine look with the pants, so I've added a peplum and to add interest on the surface and not to make the combination of black and the, uh, the other fabric very stark, I've done something with the surface. And also with the same garment, I've tried a slit at the back so that it still uh, remains a little more glamorous and yeah, adds an element to it. Thank you. Thank you. So every garment had something about it. He surprised me from day one because I generally never attach a good-looking boy with good clothes. Judges have made decision late. Chuke hain. The winner's name is in the envelope. And who is the winner? Ye hum reveal to karenge, but with great pomp and show. Media aur kuch uber glamorous celebrities ki presence mein. I'm really anxious and nervous to know what's going to happen. Curiosity in my mind is very much. Who will win, who will not win, how will it be, how will the audience reaction be. I'm very scared, I don't know what will happen. Let's see, hope for the best. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. We're all waiting for the whole thing to happen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Good evening. I am your host, Vivan. Welcome you to the grand finale of Cotton Council International in association with Fashion Design Council of India presents Let's Design Season 5. But before we begin the grand finale, we want to say thank you to our esteemed judges for encouraging and guiding our finalists. We would also thank the media contingent uh, for the exciting climax of this ultimate fashion challenge. But before that, let me introduce our judges for the evening. Mr. Sunil Sethi, President FDCI. Mr. David Abraham, Designer, Abraham and Thakur. Ms. Pyal Jain, Designer Label, Pyal Jain. Ms. Reena Dhaka, Designer Label, Reena Dhaka.
Ms. Agnieszka Vijol, Program Head, Cotton Council International, India. Ms. Nisha Jangiani, Fashion Director, Verb. Mr. Sachit Bhatia. And now I'd like to ask our celebrity guest, Aditi Rao Hedri, to grace the ramp. Big round of applause for her. Aditi, before you uh, sing, let me just... She's our celebrity guest, we can't let her go so easily. Okay, Aditi, a simple question. Um, what does cotton mean to you and how important a component is it in your wardrobe? I've grown up with cotton and handloom, so cotton for me is very important. In fact, I think I wear cotton every day, as you can see. And cotton to me means freedom, actually. Um, to be able to breathe and to be able to fly, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> And uh, here's wishing you that uh, you fly ahead in all your movies as well. Please, ma'am, thank you so much for coming here. Please take your seats. Thank you. Thank you, judges. And now it's time for the creativity of our finalists to be showcased on the ramp. Matlab, it's time for the Less Design 5 fashion show. Sabse pehle bari hai finalist number one, Vedangi Agarwal. Bring it on, Vedangi. And up next, we have the highly talented Josh Singh Guraya. Ladies and gentlemen, Josh. Iskebad, let's welcome Manu Parthasarthi and her creations on the ramp. Ladies and gentlemen, Anu Parthasarthi. And now it's time to call on our fourth finalist for the evening, Deep Jyoti Boysha, to showcase his ensemble. Ladies and gentlemen, the Joy the Boy Shah and his creations. And Agar may put your hands together for designer number five, Dimpali Khattar. Bali Cutter and how beautiful creations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment that you've all been waiting for. In fact, I've been waiting for very patiently. And this will be my stage for invite Karan Chaunga, our esteemed jury panel. Ma'am, please, this way. It's the very modest Aditi Rao Hedri, please. You're here for a very special reason. You are here to unveil the winner. She's here to unveil the winner. Uh, so please reveal to us ki less design five ka winner, kaun sa talented designer hai.
So Aditi, are you ready to announce the winners? Here we go. Uh, so the winners are Vedangi Agarwal. And the joint winner is Harjosh. This is the first time in Let's Design 5 that there's been a joint winner and both of them will share the cash prize with the Cotton Council International will be giving and both of them will take part in Fashion Design Council of India's WIFW in October so both will have a show. Congratulations both of you, you'll be given 5 lakh rupees each to start your own label. A show in the high five category of the FDCI presents Will's India Fashion Week Spring Summer 2014. And that's not all, you will get a joint four page spread in Verve magazine. Every designer's dream. And that brings us to the end of Cotton Council International in association with Fashion Design Council of India presents Less Design Season 5, the finale. You guys take care and keep watching Zoom, India's number one Bollywood channel. Yay! I've won and I'm feeling very joyful, very special and I'm full of joy and I feel now these two garments will always be very close to my heart and the feeling which I'm feeling right now is something which I've never felt. My best garment ever <laughs> and I'm going to keep it very close to me and not going to sell it at all. When my name was announced I couldn't believe that it was actually me, me with Agni Adhrawal. Let's Design gave a lot of confidence which I lacked before earlier. Now I'm going to start thinking of what I'm going to do and what, what I would want to showcase because that's going to be my debut as a designer at such a platform. Yeah.